What's up guys? I'm shooting this on my laptop, my MacBook Pro, and uh, I don't know how the video quality is going to be, so I apologize in advance if the audio and video sucks, but I'm just playing with different ways. This way, I can talk to you directly. Someone just asked me a question about what pre-workout I suggest that they use. For what? Pre-workout for what? What do you mean a pre-workout? What are you trying? You need a stimulant? I'm not a big fan of, of, of a stimulant outside of a little bit of black coffee or green tea or black tea. That really should be about it if you need that stimulant from an all-natural source the body recognizes, not made of synthetic chemicals and toxins. Um, I don't understand that. I, I completely dissuade you from taking those synthetic chemicals while trying to, quote, be healthy. It doesn't make sense. Right, so let's stop doing that. You're, you're falling prey to the media, to the marketing. Um, do you need some amino acids? We'll go get a grass-fed whey protein isolate. Um, you can sip on that pre and intra workout to make sure those aminos are readily available in the bloodstream. That's fine if you're getting crazy about it. Um, you need a little bit of sugar. Well, there's there's white rice. You know, digest extremely efficiently. Uh, we even blend it. Um, and put it in our post-workout smoothie with some blueberries and coconut water for the average general trainee or not. I mean, rarely like when we do need a carb source, we just use some white rice. Not getting crazy once again. Um, so I'm not bashing on the supplement sellers because obviously there's a market for it, but I'm trying to educate you guys as consumers. Why? Why do you feel you need a pre-workout so you can go ham and you can get a bigger pump? I got a bigger pump for 15 minutes, so I'm going to spend $60, $80 on some sort of purple berry neon blast synthetic chemical powder. I'm going to guzzle that down. That doesn't make sense. That defeats the whole purpose of health and fitness, which even you aesthetic athletes should be focused first and foremost on health and fitness. That's the foundation of this pyramid, health and fitness. So let's stop polluting and... and, and um, adding toxins into our body in the pursuit of health for maybe, maybe, maybe some sort of barely discernible pump, you know, minor junior achievement that's only measurable for a very short 11, 15, 17 minute window. That makes no sense. Um, and you've done damage, in my opinion, you've done damage in the process. So we try and avoid that. Um, I think that's it. That's all I got to say. Is that, is that good? Does it, do you understand? I'm um, trying to just be honest and transparent. Um, make sure you eat, if you're eating properly, all six meals, if you will, four to eight meals per day, six meal average with snacks and shakes and all that stuff, feeding times. Um, if you're compliant with that for three, six, 60, 90 days prior, you don't really need to worry. You should be constantly in a state of optimal performance. That's what we're trying to get to. So stop wasting your money on these pre, post, intra, nighttime, daytime, you know, synthetic glop. Let's get rid of that. And let's just start living the life that you should be living that is adherent to your gains, to your goals. That's all. So last three days, six days, 60 days, 90 days, 900 days, are you living a lifestyle that's congruent to achieving your goals, to having that crazy workout, to getting those bulging veins, rip shredded abs, striations popping everywhere? You can build that. You can easily build that with, with dedication, with consistency. That's all. You don't need these, these pills. And most of the people who do that stuff, right, most of the people who do that stuff anyway, they look the same. They look no better. They sometimes and usually wind up looking worse if you pull back over time. Now, those who are taking the higher level performance enhancers, they're going to look awesome regardless. So it's hard to put them into the same category as the rest of you guys, right? So we're not talking about that. And that's like the top 10% of the top 10%, you know, whatever small, it's, it's a much smaller number than you think of those who should actually who could, I should say, who could get a benefit from those type of products. There may be a benefit to a very small select group of that large broad category because most of the sports supplements are garbage anyway. They're just a diminished, diluted version of the, the um, ingredients that they actually say that's in there. You know, by the time you start slugging it down, you're getting tiny, tiny, tiny percentages of the active ingredients anyway. So it's just like you're drinking, you know, colored placebo water. So... You know, hopefully, again, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to go too long on this. This is meant just as a quick rant um, to help you guys. Uh, let's start being aware of why you're fueling. I'm not even, I don't even know what to name this. 
but I'll, it'll be out before you guys can tell me. <laughs> so what do, what do I name this this stupid rant about trying to like shake you guys into the the stop with the the, the supplements and the pre the pre workouts and and all that stuff. Just start focusing on swinging that axe, swinging that axe, that daily lifestyle of eating your meals, having them ready to go. You don't have to be a crazy bodybuilder, not picking on bodybuilders, but the image of a bodybuilder meal prepping and sweating in his kitchen, boxing up and chopping all that. It doesn't have to be like that. You just have a plan. I know exactly what I'm going to be eating. I know where I can get it from my lunch. I'm going to get from greens and proteins right down the street. Bike Squad's going to deliver it in 30 minutes. I'll have that sitting on my desk at 1230. That's easy. It costs me $12. That's good because I like that lunch on, on this day, on my Wednesday. Um, my breakfast is already set in stone. My little Tupperware is my breakfast bowl. That's done and consumed in two minutes. Everywhere I go, there's there's fruit, there's cashews, there's almonds, there's dates, there's figs, there's you know cherries and blueberries. There's all these little sources, these fueling sources. I have some grass-fed white isolate available in my office and at home just in case the one, two, three times a month I actually bang a scoop of that. So again, I'm, I'm you know trying to give you more context here. Those who are listening and those who are still with me, this is valuable stuff. Um, that's the way we actually do it. That's the way it's done. That's the way it's done. That's the way you, you get those those everlasting results. All right, guys, subscribe to the channel if, if you enjoy some of this, if, if you find it helpful. Um, I appreciate that. It'll help the channel grow and, and keep me you know focused on, on what you guys are doing. Leave comments below. I'm, I'm trying to answer every single comment and, and real answers too. Go back and look at the last couple of videos. I'm answering everybody because I enjoy talking to you. You guys are awesome. Great, great audience here. Great community of us um, and great topics. Some of your questions, I'm like, yeah. I want to know that too. So um, my team and I, we're, we're doing some of the research that we'll keep providing to you in these videos. And this was um, a user a uh, user question right here. Uh, some, someone asked me exactly what I thought they should be consuming pre-workout. And I figured I'd go straight to you guys uh, and tell you that too. So again, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. I will talk to you soon. Boom.